Shane Claiborne, who's an activist and who's heavily involved in, in just taking care of the poor and doing some radical things, actually does some reflecting about church offerings. And what he says is, is that church offerings have really lost their purpose and focus from what they originally were intended to be. He said basically church offerings in the book of Acts were mostly collected to meet the needs and be redistributed to people who had needs. And we see this all through the book of Acts. You know, the church gathers money and gives it to those who have need. They, they distribute food and clothes to widows. They take care of these people in their community and around their community who really have struggles and, and everything else going on in their lives. The interesting thing is that church offerings today have really changed purpose big time. We take a ton of offerings in and now 85% of those offerings go to keep the internal structure of the church going. You know, we love to build buildings. We love to hire staff. We love to do all these big programs. And all of the money we take in goes to run all those programs. You know, the question is, is this the way God's economy was meant to be lived out by the church? You know, is it meant that we take our offerings and simply just sort of self-consume them within the church? Or should each of our church budgets be set in such a way that we actually take those offerings and somehow give a certain portion, a certain percentage away? I can tell you my new church plant, Jericho Road Church, we made a conscious decision from the beginning that we're going to give away 25% of all of our offerings. That's getting tougher this year as we start to look at the budget and realize, boy, we could be short on monies. But we're pretty committed to saying we're going to stick to what we believe God called us to do, which is take our money, use it in the community to meet the needs of people who really have needs and struggles. What about you? What will you do with your money? What will your church do with its offerings?